I'm today I'm here with Hassani Vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, y'all? My name is Hassani Vibes Comer. I'm a senior communications major with a theater performance minor at Morehouse College. I'm um, originally um, from Atlanta, Stone Mountain, Georgia, and Cape Coast, Ghana. So, yeah, man, today I'm about to paint and draw and just show y'all a little bit of what I do in the AUC. You know what I mean? I want to wake up, bro, on days like this. Like I, um, you know, I just had a show yesterday, Morris Brown concert. Um, we did something legendary, really. We sung with, um, I sung with the CAU choir, um, the Philharmonic um, uh, choir. It was amazing, bro. So uh, we got uh, first place. I didn't know it was a competition. I mean, I didn't care. I really just worry about the impact and the love and things like that, but it was great, bro. Just Boris Brown is back, the AUC is back, and I love to see that. I ain't never did this. Somebody challenged me to uh, sing while I draw and stuff. Ooh, it is his song, bro. So, it's a Sunday, man. I'm, I'm feeling in one of those very grateful moments. So. I've had my share of ups and downs. Times when there was no one around. But God came and spoke His words to me. Praise will confuse the enemy. And I've had my struggle. I've had my pain. But I knew God would take it away. Oh, oh. <coughs> yes, I knew God would take you away. Just off the no water, no tea. Y'all don't mind my voice a little bit. I was definitely about to drink. So, so I got a question, bro. Uh huh. How long have you been doing this, like, the, like, the, creating, like, the. The pictures and everything like just art. Um so actually art was my I guess you could say my first love, you know, like drawing and actually sketching. I was a kid who drawing a desk and drawing the um you know like I would just you if you see drawings on the desk or on the test, mm -hmm. that was me. So I didn't really take it serious. Um either though when I was a kid my um father he was pushing me to just keep doing it. So I did that since I was like six or five or three. I don't know, I just went a whole crazy age range, but that was my first love. Like I was six or, or one of the, at a young age. And um, I did my first art show when I was, I think I was seven or eight years old. And it was actually in Atlanta, which is crazy. Um, the mayor came and um, she really loved my art. I don't even remember what I did, but that just, you know, it was, that was a start. Um, all glory to God that I really just, he just, comes and does it for me but um yeah bro i think that's to sum it up a little bit but um it's what's a blessing is i really just started back doing this senior year um because of my mission i said i want to be a living expression of art and love so i actually have to embody that you know and um it's the saying that i started saying to myself every day I think therefore I am so within that if I say I, I want to be the living well I am a living expression of art and love then that's what I walk in and, and do every day so now you know the AUC knows me as the painter the, the drawer the singer one of those you know but it's a blessing I just want to spread love through this Sun coming out. I know the sun is hitting right now. It's hitting. I don't know if you can see the structure. 
I like the best thing I like about um, doing this though. When I start, it always looks like nothing. I mean, you got it from the start. Yeah. It's literally a blank space. But then I just I just start lines and, and stuff like that. Still, nobody could see it. It's like a process. It's really like it reminds me of life, though. The reason I do it in a sharpie is because I believe there's no mistakes. So within the foundation that um, me and some friends started, one at Clark Atlanta, one at Spelman, and um, two at Morehouse, we actually created the Youth Foundation. And the Youth Foundation, what we do, we draw only in Sharpie because we don't believe in mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, say I did a line like this. I think that was, oh man, I messed up. Mm -hmm. Nah, I could turn it into something beautiful. You know what I mean? That's what I think life is, you know? We don't really get to erase things. So let's use a Sharpie to draw every day we wake up. That's what's up, bro. I got another question, bro. Talk to me. Who is like, well, who is your, uh, cause I know you are R&B, mm -hmm. R&B <laughs> artist. So this give me like, I know there's a lot of R&B artists out there, Yeah. but what's your like, who's your number one? Your number one. I said my number one rhythm is from pop. Um, I think a lot of people can see it now, but uh, Michael Jackson, forever. Mm -hmm. You know, he's R&B pop, but especially when he's first coming out, he's a lot more R&B. Um, with Ben and records like that. I really grew up, and Michael Jackson and Usher, of course. But um, I really grew up seeing, just watching MJ just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. da -da. And um, I always saw myself in that, in that. Like every time I watch it, I'm like, I just see myself doing the same thing. And you know, I, I'm a real big nerd as well. And I love superheroes. So I feel like, that's Hassani Vibes. I created, like Hassani Comer created his superhero with Hassani Vibes, you know? It was a blessing, but Michael Jackson, Usher most definitely, um, especially being from Atlanta. And um, I remember also as well, like being on the east side, when I was growing up, I say got it more serious in middle school. Um, it wasn't that many singers, you know, everybody is a rapper. So uh, I remember, um, looking up to Jacquees, because he was from, we was from the same side, the east side, so just liking his movement that he had going on, man. But uh, yeah, MJ, Usher, James Brown, for sure. James Ooh. Brown influenced Michael Jackson, so I had to go yeah. look at that. I think that's the biggest comparison, they call me James Brown Jr. It's a blessing, though. It's a blessing. Now we're about to turn up on the face. Do you have a favorite song by Michael Jackson that you would mind like singing? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. You know this one. I don't let the rhythm get into you. Girl, when you dance, there's a magic that must be love. So let's take it slow. Cause what? We got so far to go when you feel that beat, and we can run the boogie, share that beat of love. I want to rock with you all night and get you in the sun. Lord, I want to rock with you all night and just the night away. Do you feel the beat? Do you feel the beat, baby? That's my song. Rock yeah. with you. He just got so many hits, and the biggest thing I took for MJ was uh, I don't really like do too much cussing and uh, negativity in my music. First of all, as far as marketing purposes, that's horrible. You already limit yourself to a crowd when you cuss and, and do all that in the music. But then the most important of all, like whatever I put out in this world. That's what I want to reflect and come back. Mm -hmm. I want to put out love and peace and positivity. And there are certain ways to do that. But um, me personally, I feel like, you know, what you, I feel like just we just need more positivity. You know, I'm trying to, not even just trying to bring R&B back. I'm trying to bring my version of R&B. Mm -hmm. And reggae and Afrobeat and Afro soul and everything like that. So, yeah, that's my song. Up, Actually, just dropped my first gospel song on my mom's birthday. 
Um, oh, sir, it's called raising the days in the sun. No, it's called calling his name. What is wrong with <laughs> So go do something like this. <clears throat> Raise from the sun, the nights in the rain told me to worry. Just keep the faith. Hey, hey. So this is what I did. When it found me, some Jesus. He took my pain and he told me to worry. Call on his name. So this is what I did. I called on his name. I called on his name. I called on his name. I called on his name, his name, his name, all through my pain. I called on his name, his name, his name, cause he took my pain. So yeah, that's that one. Look at this coming together for real, it's crazy. Oh, I seen it, man. If you don't know what it is, We're doing a great Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois on this legendary campus. Actually making them look a little younger, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I wanna give them a box, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. You think I should do that? Like, I should, I wanna moder him, moder him up a little bit. I'm, hey, do whatever you, do whatever you think is good, Let's bro. Let's give him a box. I got another question, bro. Uh -huh. Who is like your favorite mentor? Like somebody that really inspires you to do the stuff that you do now? Um, my number one, most definitely is my mom. I wouldn't be here today without Tony Booth Comer. Um, she always preached to me when I was growing up. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things with Christ's strength. Hey, that's, hey, that's exactly you what know? I have on my neck on, right man. now, bro. And that's crazy. I know it's, it's it literally, bro, Ain't nothing, like, can't nobody say nothing to me about a mother's love and, a, you know, you know what I'm talking about, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I try to talk to my mama every day. Like, I think, I don't know, I don't even can't keep the count of how many times I talk to her. But I know the first person I'm calling, if I'm in anything, is my mom, you know, and she's just such a blessing to me, bro. That's my number one mentor, like, see the reason, like, I'd probably be everywhere like her. I'd be running around like her. And also, big shout out to my, my pops, too, for, um, you know, he he actually went to Morehouse. My dad went to Morehouse. My mom went to Mercy. And um, she was a cheerleader and everything. My mom is just so enthusiastic. You know, if, if you see her, she's literally the life of the party, just like my um, her mom. <laughs> and uh, I never met my grandma, but, you know, they say she's a living embodiment of my grandma. I just love my mom, bro. I wouldn't be here without my mom. I wouldn't believe, have my relationship with God like I would without my mom. She just instilled it to me. She didn't force it. Look at that. Perfect. Y'all see the comparison a lot more now. Hey, man, we just put a little box top on them. <laughs> I might give them a little hoop. I slick like it. We like a, a modern graffiti day version. W.E.B. Du Bois, you know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, Ooh, somebody sang it. I'm not here. But, uh, yeah, bro, I wouldn't. My mom, bro, I wouldn't be nowhere without her. And uh, I would say that's my number one. But I, like, as far as like, I looked up to different people that I wanted to, whatever I saw, I wanted to be like. I remember like, you know, LeBron James, it's just his greatness. I always was attracted to greatness and great dominance. You know what I'm saying? Like a consistent longevity of greatness. I've always loved how LeBron carried himself to the public, how he uh, give, give back to his community. You know, I, I'm a philanthropist. A philanthropist, billionaire, all that stuff. 
is what I am and going to most definitely get back to my community in America, Africa, all over the world, Brazil, everywhere, you know. And, um, yeah, but, ooh, how you like that? Hey. Dope. That book is bad. He finished. But I did want to modern him up. You know, make it look like a, a version for us. Yeah. Let me be. Art gallery is called the Gala. The bow tie for me. <laughs> so, what's some advice that you would give to like young artists like you, like some people that just they just discouraged, they don't know if they're gonna make it or not. They just give them some advice. Um, artists of all mediums. It doesn't matter, dance, sing, instrument. Um, what you feel in here, do it. You, you don't even really, especially musical artists. We like to go, before we get in the studio, we like to bring people with us or something like that. Just go and do it first, just do it. My biggest thing, like that's the Nike, this should be a Nike ad. But that, that um, saying is so real, you just do it first. And if you really want to do something, you're going to see the resources and where you're going to find the things to do that. But my number one is believe in yourself, trust in God. And those, trust in God is the number one, but believe in what he sends you. Your dreams and everything that comes in your head is not for no reason. You have to focus on that or they will go to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have had your dream or a vision of, of things that uh, have happened. Execute. We all have dreams and we all have a notepad of things that we want to do, but execution is the key. But with execution, as a creator, it takes discipline. Discipline is sacrifice. You're only free if you have discipline. You have to move like water as well. Be water. Move like water. When you're in different environments, learn how to move and shift in the form. You know, I like to say God is like water. God's love is, is water for real. He's everywhere. Water is everywhere. It's everything. So be like water. And um, please always trust, do things with your heart. I, I don't really like doing art for money sometimes. You know, I want to turn this into a living, of course. Of course, but please, if you're in it for the money, this is not your field. Um, do art because it's here. It's, it's bigger than you. Please, man, we need you. The world needs your art. Um, doesn't matter what color you are. Uh, I don't even like calling us black. Brown, uh, Asian, Mexican, doesn't matter who wants to do it. Just try it. You never know. I literally never knew the whole AUC would really mess with the art stuff. And now I have over like 20 clients right now. Going on 100. We just, hit our, we just hit our first five figures this year. It's a blessing. Just I started this in senior year of high school, and we just hit our first five figures. I'm so grateful. That's crazy. Yeah, but God is so good. But yeah, that's my advice, man. Like the money and everything will come. It's good. The law of attraction, and vibration, are the two biggest laws that I give y'all. Go look them up. But what you want and what you think about on the daily, I think. Therefore, I am. I think, therefore I am. You want me saying that different languages? Almost I'm the I think, therefore I am. Remember that. Please put positivity out in the world. We do not need no negative energy, low vibrational vibes and everything. You know? Just be love. Be you. I wanna spice it up, you know? But yeah, that's that's my biggest advice. I want you to, to be the best you. Don't shy to be anybody else. When I learn how to take everything that I've learned, yeah, some people may say Michael Jackson, James Brown, whatever. I just learn how to make all of that me. Use that to inspire, but not to exactly reciprocate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Inspire, make it my own, put it out of the world. Do that, man. Be great. I believe in you. I want you to be the best you, man.
Yeah, the 90s. WEB the most. Real 90s game. I ain't gonna lie. It's dope. It looks good, bro. I'm gonna hit it with another color. Are right, you gonna switch up the colors? So uh, what we just did at Spelman was our like first type of, uh, I wouldn't say experiment, I just say like every day I go out and do this on the live, I say I do this like every, uh, when you're a student and you're a creator and artist, especially you senior year, I, man, remember that you're here to graduate first, please, I had, even me, I have um, troubles and struggles sometimes um, setting my priorities, I'm a human, I'm being super honest with y'all. But um, please, man, AUC students especially, man, like it's so much that goes on. But remember, up man, that was crazy. But um, yeah, like I was saying, please prioritize your work and school first. Um, everything else will come. If you're here in the AUC, you're here to graduate. There's so many opportunities that come. I promise you that's not the last opportunity that you feel like you either miss or uh, or supposed to go to. I've, I've learned that last year, man. Um, if I miss something, it wasn't meant to be. If I feel like I miss something. Um, yeah, please prioritize your school first. If you're in school. But always prioritize your mental health first. It's for anybody in school, out of school. Big mental health ever. That's why I did the song yesterday with a big CAU choir, man. Shout out mm -hmm. to them, I love them, man. Eternity, my girl, the head of the choir, and just everybody that was there today, and that's gonna, I mean, yesterday, and that's gonna be there today. We did the song, it's called Embrace Yourself. That's an Afro Soul song I have coming out. It goes like, Embrace yourself, don't hate yourself. You have to love yourself before you love anybody else. Please embrace yourself. Don't hate yourself. You have to love yourself before you love anybody else. What we say, embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. Don't hate yourself. Don't hate yourself. You have to love yourself before you love anybody else. Please embrace yourself. Don't hate yourself. You have to love yourself. Before you love anybody else, here we go. Love, 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 love is the answer. Love, 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 love is the answer. Love, 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 love is the answer. Love, 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 love is the answer. And um, someone say it's real simple, and I think it is. It's just beauty and simplicity. I wrote that one, I don't think I was going through a hard time and um, just really wanted to, had to remember to embrace myself and love myself. But I, I, when I write music, I think about the masses always because that's why I want my music to go. So I think internationally and things like that, I, the whole world is going to sing that one day. And especially the uh, catchphrase. You are now catching some, a sudden arm, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man, the whole world gonna see that. Like Brazil, Netherlands, Ghana, Nigeria, like Switzerland. Just because it's a form of love. Mm, the details of this thing. The colors coming in crazy. It's amazing, bro. I'm so blessed that I get to wake up and do this. You know, you gotta thank God every day. It's my biggest thing, and anybody will probably tell you, it's me being thankful and grateful. I don't care, whatever else vibe you get from me, just know 
I'm the most appreciative, grateful, thankful person in the world. That's why I want to be also remembered as, and that's why I missed the Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you heard that, <laughs> but uh, this is look brown. No, this one look, brown. look like. Some. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, bro. Um, what's crazy is when is your birthday? March seventeenth. Okay. Yeah, bro, I'm a Thanksgiving baby. Bro. That's crazy. And, uh, my mom said she had the turkey. Um, and I came out. I think like a, a day, not a day, like an hour later, like that night type stuff. It's a real like little movie story for real. And uh, yeah, bro. I, um, I always felt skipped over to go straight from this world, America. We go straight from, oh, you know how we go, man. We go straight from Halloween to Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'd be super mad. So that's why I created Mr. Thanksgiving. And uh, also, like, I was, I wanted to put a new meaning on Thanksgiving. We know what Thanksgiving means here, you know, with the pilgrims and uh, everything that happened there. Uh, I don't believe in, you know, the, colonization and all of that. But I wanted to take Thanksgiving, especially being born on Thanksgiving, and make and give it a whole new meaning. Because Thanksgiving is mentioned in the Bible and so many other things multiple times. Not the event, but being thankful. Thanksgiving, the actual being Thanksgiving means being thankful for everything that you're given and everything that you give. You know, you have giving is a lot more important than receiving. And um that's when I'll push out in the world. I'm gonna make Thanksgiving a, a worldwide holiday. And um, you know, this this year I'm dropping an album on my birthday. I'm dropping one November first. Got some commercials coming out and a kids book coming out. It's a Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? I'm super excited about it. Um, also a Thanksgiving benefit concert here at Morehouse with the AUC and collaborate with um, Morris Brown and stuff like that. It's gonna be huge. I'm trying to bring some big people out here. I ain't gonna tell y'all too much. But just know, some people coming out, man. It's gonna be huge. But um, thanks for giving, man. I feel like really that's, if anything, that's how the world would know me for real. Um, it's Mr. Thanksgiving and I will have no problems with that. That's what I love putting out in the world. You know, Michael Jackson got Halloween on lock. <laughs> Mariah Carey got Christmas on lock. Sonny Bob's got Thanksgiving. And uh, we got cookout songs on there. You know, when you think of Thanksgiving music, what do you think of? Like, you ain't never really heard no Thanksgiving. Yeah, I do. Okay, so the biggest one I have right now is it's like a jazz type. This is my, one of my band back in my old school. Thanks for giving. Thanks for love. Thanks for living. Give thanks for love. Thanks for loving. Thanks for tries. Thanks for love. Thanks for mine, thanks for you, thanks for me, thanks for who, thanks to be part of things was made to be. I thank you for saving me, I love it, yes I love it, yes it's Thanksgiving, the time for loving, ain't no time for doing nothing, time for food, bacon in the oven, I'm just so, so, so grateful, don't know how many times to say thank you, but Lord I I want to say thank you, soldiers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks for giving. The album is dropping November 1st. I really love how this is turning out. No, bro. I don't lie, I'm just doing stuff too, bro. That's another thing. Whatever you feel, that's why I, when I tell artists, like, what you feel, just do. You never know how stuff will turn out. And nobody could really tell you what's right or what's wrong. We're all on the same journey, the same path. Well, not, no, heck, heck no. <laughs> on different journeys, different paths. But I mean, like, nobody could tell you what's right or, you know what's right or what's wrong, but nobody yeah. could tell you, you know, the exact layout and stuff.
That's the best thing I like about my style of um, painting. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I just like to, if you see a Hassani Vibes painting or painting or drawing, you're gonna know it's Hassani Vibes. Kind of like Basquiat. Mm -hmm. I said that was my biggest thing with um, Basquiat. Like, you know a Basquiat painting when you see one. Um, that's the same thing I wanted to do with, with my art. But also have some meaning. When you look at it, you always think of different things, you know? Not even gonna look like uh, CAU though. Only you know this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the details. Look at the details. That's crazy. Now, a lot of people don't even look at that. Yeah, bro. That's why I like the best thing about my art. You think you see one thing, but you don't like. Until you get to it, you like, oh, damn. What? You know? To my brother at West Love too. This is a piece I did actually for a client. Um, West Love. We're going. What I like to do also with my with any client, I like to present the pieces. I don't like to just here you go. So this one, um, one of the first ones I actually did. I love bringing this out because I don't know if you see it's a woman with hair, and if you get close, oh, <laughs> you see the faces of different women in her hair. Just like um, supporting and always giving thanks to black women, especially, you know, because of my mom, my sister, just every woman in my life, you know, my girl and everybody. So. Yeah. 
That's amazing, bro. Like, you really made this bad. You look younger. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. The 90s. Real 90s. Oh, the version. Move, man. You yeah. never know if he had a box. And I want to go look up a picture if he had one. <laughs> he probably did have a box, bro. Yeah, go that team. That's amazing. Nah, this is beautiful, bro. Oh, thank you, bro, for real. Just do what comes here, you know what I mean? Man, thank you so much for coming out, bro. Man, thank you, bro. I really appreciate really you. Shining bro. light on, on things like this, man. It's amazing, bro. Beautiful. Man, shout out to Instagram, bro. I got like people gotta know. Hey, people already probably know who you are, bro, but like you never people know. Gotta, more people gotta know, man. Um you go follow me at Hassani Vibes as H A S A N I V I B E Z. H A S A N I V I B O Z everywhere. Um, art page is at the gala. D E H G A L L A at the gala. And um, you foundation. Woo! It's a lot. But yeah, at the gala, Hassani Vibes, those are the main ones. And um, thank you for everybody tuning in. Thank you for everyone showing love to this. Um, we're just going to keep spreading love and just giving back to the community. This is one of the biggest ways I give back and also help fund to give back. So if y'all want to send anything, it goes straight to the kids and everything. So thank y'all so much, man. Thank you, man. This is Capture the Voice, man. Capture the Voice. Yes, it's just amazing, bro. I'm so blessed that I get to wake up and feel You gotta thank God every day. My biggest thing, anybody will probably tell you, is to be being thankful and grateful. I don't care whatever else the vibe you get from me, just know I'm the most appreciative, grateful, thankful person in the world. That's why I want to be also a member of that. So that's why I miss the Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> but uh, 